And look at this. Brick, uh, having the worst weapons to do damage here. Lightning gun can be effective at, at some point, but the problem is um, when you don't really have the stack to stick around when you're using LG, you have to expose yourself, and especially against a player that has rockets, you have to expose yourself to either a big rocket shot, which actually is not that hard to do from the bottom of the pool, or a lot of LG damage uh, right back in your face. So, um, Sparks, I think, has played this really well. Two minutes left. Brick uh, showed some signs of life, but the way that Sparks is playing, um, I, I think just a little bit uh, more on key, um, whereas Brick didn't seem quite uh, as together. So, uh, I'm really liking what Sparks has been together. Nice little return to King of the Hill for Sparks. Way to go. Amen to that, but even so, 10-2 to 2 is not the widest score I've seen on here. Brick had some nice things going for him. He set up some nice traps on Mega, but did not have any kind of yellow armor control. And actually, right now, he's running around with no armor whatsoever. So, you know, usually yellow armors, they can be the secondary thing, but here they are it. That's all you got. You got a few shards, but other than that, those yellows are your lifeblood. Another nice uh, ambush from Brick on Sparks at the Mega, but other than that, unless Unless he gets timing on yellows, there's two of them up right now. Unless he starts making a beeline and getting that control, uh, he's not going to be able to hold on to this for very long. And in fact, he's only got one minute left, almost getting in the air rocks. But no, Sparks is just going to shut him back down. 11 on three, one minute warning. Sparks, safe to say, he's going to be moving on. Yeah, I like the accuracy though here. 29% uh, LG for Sparks. He's actually used quite a bit of uh, rockets as well. But 18% uh, for Brick. I think that uh, tells a bit of the tale. Ooh, Sparks <laughs> able to stop Brick from landing on the uh, Mega Health. So, uh, yeah, fantastic work there. Um, 12 to... let's see. Mm, mm, let's see what the final score is going to be. 20 seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's a narrow corridor, if I shoot LG down it, and he tries to come down, he's gonna get hit. My plan is flawless! <laughs> what do you want yeah. to do tomorrow night, Brain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coming up next, just say hi to my fans, Death Row says. <laughs> Alright, in that case, I hope his mom is watching, because we're going to see Death Row v Sparks on DM13. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, Death Row, I think, has the capacity to do really well against Sparks. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, though, when it comes down to just the raw aim. Death Row is uh, kind of a... We've seen him do a lot of burst damage, where... Um, yeah, he can just throw like, a bunch of rockets in your face and you go from like 200 to 200 to like 50 health in no time flat. However, um, a lot of times Death Row, where he falls apart, tends to be a little bit on timing. And, um, and then um, finding ways to kind of lock down his opponent and deny him access to certain items. So he's off to a pretty good start though. 200 armor. Sparks is going to steal the Mega, but Death Row with that armor stack is going to be able to really push Sparks into a bad way. And here's a nice follow up with the LG. Close range with the shotgun though could put Death Row uh, into a crippling situation, but instead he switches up to a shotgun of his own and pulls down Sparks for that first frag as we hit the first minute. Death Row also timing red. Great timing on that red. He rolls over it as it spawns. Sparks trying to get a lockdown on the position and forcing death row back but here's the critical thing though sparks uh, only a rocket launcher to his name uh, finally backing off to an LG LG on LG fight death row not even turning to fire back and sparks will punish him for his insolence and uh, down he goes sparks is basically saying boy you better face me when I fight you um Okay, travel plans to Virginia cancelled. <laughs> Alright, but we're off to a great stop here. St st start here. Almost two minutes in, one on one. Sparks currently in control of middle map with 128, 118 just about. Red armor coming up in two. Mega health coming up really shortly b b behind that. So Sparks is going to make a key decision here to run in for Mega, making the bet that Death Row is going to be acknowledging that Sparks is in control of mid long enough to make the de deception stick and grab red as well. And look at that. It worked out for Sparks. And 
a little bit of LG, a little bit of MG, but other than that, no damage traded there, and that is bad, bad news for Death Row. That being said, though, I mean, it is a tied game. So, so far Death Row playing this pretty well, but Sparks, I would say, uh, he's the guy in control. Um, on this map, center map is kind of the critical place to be, as you have access to that red, you have access to Mega, and, uh, oh, look at this offensive play by Sparks, really aggressive, and now here, okay, look at this, he's going to pass up red, he knows Death Row got red, but he went and grabbed one of the yellows, he can rocket jump up, as soon as he does damage here, he can rocket jump up and get the LGYA. And, uh, ooh, look at Death Row coming out offensively, and actually that messes up Sparks' plans for the trap. And, uh, we just saw a nice little roll reversal there. The, um, Boinky became the Boinker. I like it. So, Death Row is now up by one. And Sparks, able to steal Mega, but he hears Death Row closing in on him. Actually, Death Row dropping to, uh red for some reason maybe missing the drop I'm not quite sure what what he was doing that's okay nice little battle ensuing sparks trying to defend himself death row getting away with it. just a little bit of health and uh, quite a bit of armor it's a nice nice place to be in but we are gonna see yet another giveaway of the mega health for sparks as he grabs it uh, Death Row though trying to work the yellow armors and this is actually a really good play because look at look at the stack here 275 for Death Row and about uh, about 200 and like maybe 230 for Sparks he's gonna follow his death and Death Row has now taken the largest lead we've seen all game two frags up and we're about four minutes in still plenty of time to come back but Death Row is looking pretty damn strong at the moment I'm liking it Look at these rockets popping sparks around every which way, and this may be the chance to get in on the mega health that Death Row has been waiting for, and boy has he earned it. And uh, hello map control, as he can fend off an LG on LG fight. Oh, he switches up to uh, rocket launcher at almost the wrong time, 10 health as he gets away, and Sparks is just a little pissed off that he did not get the frag there. But uh, there's going to be nothing up for Sparks. There's one armor up. Death Row is going to go take one of them. And there it's it about to go away. LG yep. armor is going to be all that Sparks can get to, and he's going for rocket launcher first nope. in Death Row. He's already there, and Death Row is denying him the entire map. Here's the thing. Death Row being at this side, uh, even if Sparks can't win out for these items, he can keep Death Row back there maybe long enough to do a little bit of damage as he exits now. Death Row leaves up Sparks in that position, lets him get away without taking too much damage, because Death Row does not want to lose control of Mega Health as well. So Death Row, uh, by going for total map Smart. control, looks like he, he, well, smart. it was smart. Yeah. Oh, my God, that yeah. Shot oh. Oh, oh, he can't follow it up. Oh, oh so close. Oh. That was such a smart move by Death Row. Uh, great trap, great idea. And here, uh, he basically, he just has to survive. He needs to basically force Sparks one away. One rocket. Death Row's like, one rocket. Come on. Uh. Just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I mean, what a shame Death Row couldn't follow it up with a, with the second shotgun blast. That that first one was point blank. It was huge. It destroyed Sparks' stack and just couldn't quite kill him. Uh, but it was just it was such a good idea. I mean, you could see the, the planning that Death Row was putting into it, uh, almost executed. And um, Sparks, though, that that's kind of his chance to get back in this. He's been able to secure uh, a bit of armor, the Mega, and about to drop in on red. So uh, good good play by Sparks. He's gonna wait for it to spawn. So he's got perfect timing on it now. For the next cycle, Death Row on the other hand is going to have only. Ooh, wow! Actually, he didn't even get that armor. Um, hmm, I'm not sure what I. Not sure how I feel about that. He had time to get one of those armors. Um, uh, maybe he just didn't have them timed. That being said, though, Sparks now only one frag away from tying it, and Death Row is totally on the back foot. And before you know, you were commending Death Row on that those decisions. But this is the map where, unless you really know your opponent well, oh wow, Sparks did not see Death Row behind him. Oh wow, <laughs> 40 FOV, a little bit of fish eye going on. <laughs> ah, ah, Tiger. Right, there we go. 
That's where I was yeah. like, okay, if I don't die here, this is just ridiculous. But uh, before, this is the, the map where, unless you really have solid control over everything, it can be really risky to try and control everything, to try and spread yourself out yeah. to the point where you're going for yellow. And so that was the point when Sparks made, in, made the move for that red armor, and that really just opened up things for him. I mean, that shotgun blast to the nads, that would have been much, much harder.